Hello there, <clears throat> this is Matthew Coates and this is a ukulele lesson which is aimed at the um, a grade one pupil who just to a few things I haven't been able to see this afternoon but I hope this will help. Um, so basically we've been working on grade one and we'll look at we've got the first rhythm study so we've got a G chord We've got a nice smooth transition into a D chord, an A minor, that's not too bad. Then we've got a C chord, then after that back to a G, then a D, again the smooth transition, then a C, then a C, then a G. So I'll just play that. So it's given a strum pattern of 1, 2 and 3 and 4. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down. So it's... So down, down, up, down, up, down. Rhythm study two. We've got a D, we've got a G. Okay, we have got the chord of A. That nice easy chord there. We've then got an A7, which is quite easy. All you do for A7 is you've got that. So there's a nice change to there. <clears throat> From A to A7. A G, a D, and back to an A chord. And finishing with a D. Obviously that repeats. So this goes like this. And the rhythm pattern is down, 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 up, down, up. So it's one, two, three, and four, and. Okay, so we've got four beats in the bar. So one, two, three, rhythm study two. Okay, so you can hear how that's working, um, and obviously you can even observe the metronome mark, 92 mile an hour. <laughs> First one was 100, so that's your seconds of the clock. So a walking pace will be 60 seconds, 2, 3, 4, whereas if we double that nearly at 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, or if we say at 90, 1, 2, Three, four. So you can kind of gauge it. You can get these things on a little app and what have you. Okay, so that's rhythm study two. All right, so we'll just do two of those. Now, the other little department of the exam, or before I forget, uh, a little bit of news from the LCM, London College of Music exams. Um, guitar and ukulele, ukulele being the one, I'll send a link to parents over the weekend and then you'll be able to sort out entering your child in for the exam for the spring, as I read it anyway. In which case you'll do, all they'll do is, well not all they'll do, they'll have to make a good recorded performance of it, a bit like doing like a YouTube video and that'll go, that'll be sent off to the London College of Music for an examiner to check okay anyway so uh, I think one of the I'm saying I think I know this person's doing the bear dance right so here we go now a couple of things we've been looking at have been the quaver rhythms okay so let's have a go of it so it's in four beats in a bar so we've got a d d f g okay so here we go then so it's repeat that. Let's repeat it. Two, three. 
and this bit repeated. Notice I slowed down at the end, gave it a little bit of what they call rallentando. There, look at that, okay. Okay, now that uses a scale, because that's another important thing, and it's the scale of a mi uh, D minor, sorry, okay? So D minor, so look at that. So, Just get that little uh, slide up there. Now then, so, I shall do an accompaniment now. So it means when you're playing along, you can um, you can sort of play with it, okay? Hopefully. So ready? One, two, three, four. notes there but you get the idea it'll just help things along so let's just recap the recap here always good to recap first thing we looked at was the rhythm studies using the chords the second thing we looked at was the um, was the was the tunes we've got the bear dance and a kind of an accompaniment that will help you with it plus the D, uh, D minor scale as well now the other tune I'm going to play, just to finish off this lesson with, um, is going to be, oh, is actually going to be this one here, Daisy Bell, and it goes like this. So I hope that helps a bit and in just for the pupil that I haven't managed to get to today but I'll I'll sort things out uh, we will get it sorted with a little bit of help in order for, for you getting a lesson soon but at least if you watch this YouTube video it will give you an idea okay bye there <laughs>